Neil Battaglia, Saxation.com. The other day I saw a video with a lesson from the creators of South Park, and they were talking about writing, but I thought about what they were saying, and I thought it could really apply to music as well. They talked about how when they wrote the show, it took them a while to figure something out, and it took them a while to figure out that the words, and then, are not great words to use when you're telling a story. You don't want to say this happened, and then this happened, and then this happened. The things can be disconnected if you do that. So something that works a lot better that they figured out, it took them a little while, but they know how to tell a story pretty well. They're still doing their thing after a long time, is that the words therefore and but work a lot better as connections. So you have something, therefore this happens, therefore this happens, but this was true, therefore this happens. So basically the word therefore can connect things in a way that's more meaningful. And the word but kind of has sort of a surprise to it. It's still connected, but it's in a slightly different way. So if you're a saxophone player, a lot of times you're gonna be called on to take a solo. So you're probably gonna play something. You don't wanna play something and then something and then something and then something. It'd be better to play something, therefore you play this, therefore it goes here, but you want to change it a little bit, therefore you do this, therefore you do this. So kind of connect your ideas in a more meaningful way. When you're soloing, when you're improvising, when you're writing melodies, when you're writing lines, think about the meaning behind the connections. Don't just do something and then do something else that's kind of, maybe something is cool and something else is cool, but maybe they're not connected in a way that makes sense. So I just thought about what they said and how it's connected to music. Let me know what you think and if you think this will help you. If you want to check out the beginning saxophone players group that I created, it's on Facebook. You can click on the link below, answer three questions, and you can join, get a little bit of feedback, and check out what we're doing and talk to some people who are playing saxophone as well. Mm -hmm.